Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. I have taken us over to Telrador and I've picked up all the quests that are uh, to be found here for the Alliance side. And I've chosen a few that I think we're going to start working on today. So we're still going to be working on Naga Claws as we can find Naga to kill. And we have a few more that we've picked up here that we're going to tackle today. This one is Fulgur Spores. There is little in this swamp that will burn humans, so we must resort to other means for fighting for lighting Telrador. Many of the creatures and plants in the marsh emit a soft glow. It's difficult and cruel to confine the glowing creatures, so we've turned to a specific mushroom for our light source. We pick and cultivate the Fulgur Mushroom here, but our needs require us to gather new crops occasionally. Small green mushrooms often grow at the base of larger ones near Telrador. So we should be able to knock that out right around the area. Uh, Telrador is actually elevated, which is really cool. So we'll take an elevator to get down. Then we have menacing marsh fangs. During the orcs' war against my people, gatherers rarely left Telrador for fear of being attacked or captured. Now we venture out more often, but the marsh is no less perilous. It seems that n the nether rays have grown bolder in recent months. I don't know if it has something to do with more competition for, th for their normal prey, but they've been attacking our foraging parties on a regular basis. If we can thin their ranks in the area around Telrador, perhaps they would learn to leave us alone. Again, something we can do right outside of Telrador. Uh, let's see, what else? Too many mouths to feed. This is the Hydra quest. On my last hunting trip, I caught sight of a new outpost being built by a group of trolls. No doubt they've begun hunting these lands too. If they establish a permanent presence out there, the competition for food will be fierce. We cannot take direct action against them without provocation, but we can remove some of the natural competition for food. For each Meyer Hydra you kill, that's three fewer mouths to feed. And so yeah, we're going to tackle those. We'll see if we come across anything else uh, in the immediate areas. So we're looking for uh, Fulgur Spores, we need any Naga we come across, Marshfang Rippers, and then Hydras we know are going to be down here around Umbrafen Lake. But the Rippers and the Spores should be right around here. And here's one over here in the water. I wonder if they're all going to be in the water or just some of them. Let's take a closer look. Green and yellow glowing mushroom. Got it. Now some of these quests that we've picked up in Telrador, I've never seen these before because I've always leveled horde characters through Outlands from back in the day onward. Uh, but I've never leveled an Alliance character all the way through, all the way through Outlands, so. But it's interesting, I remember killing the Marshfing Rippers on the Horde side as well, which makes me believe that there's probably some parallel, parallels in the quest. Thankfully, these grow on land and in the water. Though I haven't seen any rippers, we might have to go further out. And if we do that, we'll probably go to the south. That way we can also head over to where the Hydra are at. And I didn't record it, but I did another Ramparts run, and we completed the first Hellfire Citadel quest, so now I have the second quest. And this one will have an item that we could actually use. So I'm excited to get that done. And now we're level 62 and a half because of the experience from the kills in the dungeon and from turning in the quest. Okay, here we go. Here's a Marshfang Ripper.
and I actually did the dungeon as DPS, and it was pretty enjoyable, actually. Okay, we have all the spores we need, so we don't have to worry about staying too close to Telridor. Let's head out a little further afield and see if we can find more rippers. They don't seem to be like clumped together in any abundance. They seem to be spread out a little bit. These two are fairly close. Nope, he's draining our mana. Still wish we had an interrupt that wasn't fear. And here's me just realizing that some of these guys are bloodthirsty marsh fangs and not the Marsh Fang Rippers that we actually need. So there's that. Yeah, there's a lot of the bloodthirsty marsh fangs, but yeah, they're not counting towards the quest, so let's try to head back closer to town. Didn't see too many the closer we got, so... Well, there would be a bunch of Naga here for us to kill, but somebody has already been through this camp. There's an elite up here, Razis Fiache? Did I add a vowel there that doesn't exist? Looks like we got uh, blocked out of our spells there for a minute. Not very good timing. Oh good, we killed this guy, the slave just, just de-aggroed and ran back to doing whatever he was doing. I'm glad I didn't bother putting any damage into him. We will have to keep that in mind, because I'm sure these guys are going to call out for help as well. We will ignore any ads and just focus the main mob.
Well, now we pulled two. That's going to be a little bit harder to manage. They might eat through our shields rather quickly. Oh, we put some damage into them. Oh, they're stuck on us now. Oh, that's not great. Uh, well, let's see. What can we do here? Let's loot. Oh, we're screwed. I don't think we're getting out of this alive. Yeah. Yeah, we did not get out of that alive. Uh, hey, we're not too far from our body. That's actually best case scenario. That's <laughs> as close as I've spawned as a spirit to my body in a long time, so... Thank you, Blizzard, for putting the spirit healer kind of central to most of the site. I wonder if there's another spirit healer over on the west. Uh, I would hope so. Uh, it looks safe here. I don't see any enemies. Let's see how that goes. Alright, here's one of the rippers that we actually need. It's good to at least set eyes on another one. It gives me hope that maybe somewhere out there there will be eight more. That is a wicked slow that they put on us. So it looks like these guys are primarily north of Telrador. To the south we ran into their variants, but up here to the north it looks like that's where you want to be. Not that they couldn't be elsewhere, but you know, they are up here. Oh, that's really cool how you can kind of see the spikes of the mountain leading into the blade's edge mountains. That's really cool looking. I don't think I've ever been up here. Alright, something tells me they're not going to be over in the Dead Mire area, so we're going to kind of avoid that for now. There's, oh, maybe, maybe they will be. This is pretty close to the border. Do we need this guy for anything? Let's just find out. Well, he ate through our shield really quick. But he doesn't have an abundance of health, so it should be fine. 
Didn't seem like we needed him for anything specific. What's the other tall guy? I must be thinking of a different enemy. We do need a sample from the Deadmire. Bring a Deadmire soil sample to Vindicator Idar at Telridor. We are really close. Let's get this Ripper and then we'll go have a deeper look uh, into the Deadmire area. That drain mana is painful, I'll tell you. Now, I don't really know what a soil sample is going to look like. Doesn't say that we have to fight anything. Oh, look, there are rippers over here. It's perfect. I like how this area is visually different than the rest of the marsh. I like how within a zone we can have like a completely different color palette. It really helps to keep a zone fresh when you could conceivably spend quite a bit of time leveling in one zone if you're trying to focus and get all of the quests done in one zone, one zone at a time. It's nice to have areas like this. Okay, let's see. A soil sample. Could be a little mound on the ground. That's what I would think of first. It doesn't say that we have to kill anything for it. This guy has a little bit of health, doesn't he? There we go, that's what it looks like. Dead Mire Soil. Ooh, what is that? A Parched Hydra. We need Mire Hydra. Wait. Hmm. So the Mire Hydra aren't going to be in the Dead Mire? They're going to be the ones down by the lake? Maybe? Maybe not? Well, that was unfortunate. I really hate the way dots work. Oh, you're gonna stand there now? No, you're gonna help. Do the right thing, man, and help out. It's your guy. You've got it tagged. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like that you could put a dot on something and not have it immediately tagged for you. It has to tick. I mean, I get the concept, but it just kind of screws you over. I, I should have opened with Mind Blast. Or even a Wand Strike would have been better. I, c I wanted to kill that Hydra to see if it triggered uh, for the Mire Hydra, even though they're not called Mire Hydra. We are in the dead Mire, so... Well, if, if we have to, we'll come back. We'll go check out the ones around Umbravan Lake eventually, and if those are not the ones, we'll come back up here and... try again to successfully tag one of these dehydrated ones.
Yeah, I've probably gone about as far north as we're gonna go. Let's grab this last guy, and then we'll start heading south. Maybe we'll get some respawns on the way down. I see Marsh Rock Th Threshalisk? Threshalisk? That's interesting. Try to keep them in mind if we ever get a quest for them that they're all the way back here. Alright, let's mount up and we will head back down to Telrador. And I think on the way we'll, we'll likely find at least one more Marshfang Ripper, I hope. If not, we'll give another look, but I, I think we could probably find one on the way. Voila! Of course, now on the way back, we run through a group of, like, six of them. Because why wouldn't we? These are good spores, and they should keep us going for quite some time. Thank you for helping us to replenish our supplies. Dionys Aka. Kronakai Christor. What do we want to work on next? I guess we do need to go down to the south and check on the Hydra's spore wing. That's the guy I was thinking of. He's, he's another type of tall monster of some kind. We need to find him. I think he's also to the south. And eel fillets we just picked up. These are also... They're Umbrafen eels, so they're probably going to be the eels that we ran into down in the lake. So yeah, a lot of things are taking us... Uh, back to the south here. So that is what we will work on next time. I think this is going to be a good spot to take a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm enjoying Zengermarsh a lot more than I was enjoying Hellfire, even more now that I've come out the Telrador and picked up some quests that I really haven't done before. My memories are getting hazy as to like even the shared quests and objectives, so that's good. Things are starting to feel a little bit new. I think as we get into Terracar and Nagrand, that feeling will only grow. So yeah, I'm having a good time on the Priest. Hope you guys are too. As always, thank you so much for being here with me today. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.